for our Lord, Frederick May. Didn't show. <laughs> and I just, 
I just think that's masterful. <laughs> and I, I tell you now, go onto the Lowdown site on Facebook, go to Old Breeze, every single picture of me that you will see. <laughs> <laughs> but don't smile too much, because creases. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I, I am from Norwich, um, and it's a very uh, desolate place. We don't, we don't get we don't get the big acts come. We don't get we don't get big performers, but we do get plus size tribute. <laughs> my some of my favourites were Brianna, <laughs> Charlie XXL. <laughs> Depeche Alamo <laughs> J zero chance of making it past 50 <laughs> Taylor swiftly going into cardiac <laughs> I knew you had trouble trying to walk in. <laughs> I am a full space baby <laughs> Um, I love I love food lyrics. I love food lyrics, and someone who brings a lot of food into their lyrics is uh, Lady Gaga, and she has a lyric where she uses syrup, the syrup that runs through her veins, as a metaphor for gay pride. Um, she sings, "She's just an American right in the dream. She's got a heart full of syrup and a heart and a oh." Which bleeds. <laughs> Be a <laughs> And every time I hear that song, I like, in my head, just impulsively replace the liquid. Like, she's got a heart full of gravy that she spits in your mouth. <laughs> she's a free girl chugging Orangina on a train. <laughs> And licks it out of them. <laughs> Talking of um, tribute acts, I'm going to see Bjorn again, which is the ABBA, the official, <laughs> the official ABBA tribute. Yeah, yeah. Benny and Bjorn love them. But uh, there's something I'm a little unsure of about them, in the sense that one of them just doesn't doesn't look like who they're meant to look like. <laughs> and like, when I first saw a picture of them, I was like, is this, is this Fleetwood Mac? <laughs> what about Nick Fleetwood? Like, will there be no drums? <laughs> um, and I'm just imagining them all like, Anita, check. Frida, check. Bjorn, check. Benny? Oh, <laughs> to do, to do, come join us. Um, Mamma Mia was a big hit. Ma 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 well, obviously Mamma Mia was a big hit, but oh my god, they did it again. <laughs>
I don't want to talk about it this way. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've just moved home, um, and it's my first time um, living with my parents since they split, like, full time. Um, they split because um, my dad uh, is a loser. <laughs> No, 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 he can't be that much of a loser because he helped me. <laughs> um, my mum my mom is a, a very interesting character. She's very to and fro. She's very unpredictable. Um, and in particular, she's unpredictable in the way that she either models or does not molly, <laughs> molly coddle me. Um, and I think that this can be best described by the way that she handles celebrity death. <laughs> so I I love old singers. If a singer is three times my age, I probably love them. <laughs> probably love them. Um, and obviously a couple of years ago we lost a few of them. Um, and when Prince died. I can remember sitting in a pub with, with some of my friends from home, like a popular reunion over the break, uh, and I got this text from my mum like, are you alone? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, 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 I'm out with so-and-so. <laughs> my friends don't matter. <laughs> so, um, and, uh, um, yeah, so, you know, so -and -so. Um, I think you need to, I think you need to go somewhere on your own. <laughs> I, I need to ring you. Something, something, something has happened. <laughs> My granddaughter is very ill. <laughs> at this moment. Um, and so I stepped outside, like, I had that, you know, that feeling of like, I think I know what this call is going to be. Thank <laughs> you. 
like running through the car. I can make it sound like my Aston Mansion is not. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
I want gluten free bitter bread. <laughs> I work in a vegan restaurant as well. Um, and we get a lot of uh, couples come in who, who aren't vegan or vegetarian. Uh, and will really try, I think because I work there, they assume I uh, am as good a person as them. <laughs> they're wrong. <laughs> um, and they'll be tucking in, and, and as they go to pay, they'll be like, oh, you know, we, 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 only, we, we only eat meat once a week. We're actually vegetarians. We're actually vegetarians. Oh, we, well, yes, I'm sorry, I need, I need fish. <laughs> knowing that I hate animals. <laughs> <laughs> um, when I first, um, so I would work there in the breaks when I was at uni and when I moved here I discovered uh, a little business called Pork and Curl, <laughs> oh, <I> rather enjoy. <laughs> um, and regulars would come in and they'd be like, oh how's uni? Wow, there is the most amazing hog roast shop. <laughs> and it's worth the journey, just for the day. I loved it. I loved it so much. I couldn't stop talking about it. But people would be people are so are so judgy when when even as vegans <laughs> uh, they have such such uh, flaws and such preconceived idea. I'm oh, sorry Alice, <laughs> uh, maybe we've got a closeted feed. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so full. We all do. Um, and now, and now, I don't know, let's say they've ordered a soup. Um, and I'll say, white or brown bread? And they'll say, white! I hate brown. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hate everything that's <laughs> Are you such an ethical high roller that you hate everything bread? <laughs> what about tiger bread? <laughs> Do you hate tigers? Do you want them poached? Do you hate them? Not so vegan now. <laughs> Um, another job I used to have was I handed out, <laughs> my, I mean, I used to hand out leaflets, <laughs> and this is what that means. <laughs> you hand them out, and people take them. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> um, so I used to hand out uh, leaflets for this app called Nearby Deals, which was for local businesses, and uh, if you had the app, you'd get access to all of these deals. But I didn't actually know how to use this so, when someone did actually stop and talk to me, like, oh, what's this then? Nearby deals, I live nearby, I like a good deal. <laughs> 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 Hello, Show me how. <laughs> I have no idea. All I knew was the catchphrase, scan the coke at deals. <laughs> opportunity for questions and <laughs> that's for sure. Um, and uh, yeah, and we, we had this whole like trailer that we had to carry on our backs, it was very weird. We had these like lycra suits, so we would be eye-catching in the street and we would just walk around and we had these red things. People would be really scanning around us, anything but talking to the weird trailer carrying lycra men section. We don't take questions and just, oh. <laughs> wow.
person walk past me, and I was like, can I get a deal? So like, I can't read it, I'm blind. <laughs> so I looked him right in the eye. <laughs> right in the seeing eye. <laughs> if you're so blind, where's your dog? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wasn't as, I wasn't as cruel as that. I didn't have to say that, it was a joke. <laughs> Just a little joke about how much I hated that joke. Um, another time, this, this one's real, this one's real. Shows you just how awful I really am. Um, it was snowing and we were out and about with our latex and trailers and stuff. And, um, and we had taken a break and we were among a group of homeless people uh, and no one was out on the streets that day there was really no point in handing out the flyers. Uh, and I can just remember being like my fingers are so cold <laughs> to the sound of that have you been out there for <laughs> a lot longer than <laughs> Um, further evidence that I am just, just awful. Uh, I used to play uh, in the summer holidays when I was younger. Thank like, fuck when I was younger. I imagine if I still did this now. Um, on my street, we used to play uh, schools, and I was the teacher. <laughs> But I wasn't just the teacher, I was every teacher. <laughs> and so, just when everyone on my street thought their summer holidays had begun, they actually had another six weeks of schooling <laughs> for me to deal with. Um, and I, and I, it, it, this, this was not a game that would, that would flow in the way that most games do. This game happened in real time. <laughs> I was for six weeks a year their teacher <laughs> and I taught everything I taught everything and each subject had its own persona <laughs> to go with it um, and I would hold detentions <laughs> <laughs> I can remember once uh, seeing someone with their mum on the bus and <laughs> as I said goodbye I said See you in class. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people didn't make it home for dinner on time. <laughs> I had a detention. <laughs> That's how it went. <laughs> so behave yourself. Be yourself. Um, I was obsessed with school. If my uh, my summer holidays didn't <laughs> suggest that. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely, absolutely obsessed uh, with school and particularly uh, obsessed with teachers and like doing impressions of them and just just how they are. But one teacher really like cottoned on to just just how much spare time they really had. <laughs> um, his name was Mr. Wilson. And he was a very old uh, Yorkshireman who was deathly terrifying. He had very piercing blue eyes, um, and he he would he would not shout. He would set tension by being cold, uh, and he'd and he'd be like, "So let's say Ellie has forgotten her homework, Ellie." <laughs> Where's your homework? <laughs> Why are you smiling at me? <laughs> Why have you not done your homework? This is maths. <laughs> and nobody smiles at me. <laughs> and one time after class he was like, Freddie, I want you to stay after class. And I was like, what the fuck am I doing? I have not been to do after class. <laughs> um, so I stay, the rest of the class shuffles out and he's like, Freddie, um, I just wanted to tell
tell you that um, after Easter holidays I'll be leaving the school. <laughs> the only reason I've told you this is because you're the only person with enough spare time that they'd actually care. <laughs> 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 And so I just said, I will miss you. <laughs> I will miss you. <laughs> um, I also had another teacher who I took the piss out of big time uh, because of her asthma. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, her name was this girl, and she spoke very quickly and she taught science and she'd be like, say like you might see some fizzing. You might see some sad fizzing. Yeah. Um she meant fizzing. <laughs> I thought fizzing was like some compound, like some <laughs> like appear around the rhythm. And so I can remember just staring at this veil like I don't see any fizzing. <laughs> The way that in the in the exam they'd be like, what is one of the cons of having wind turbines in this village? And one of the correct answers would always be, they're an eyesore. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just picturing this absolute like difficult, difficult like counsellor. Like, well, they're an eyesore. I don't give a shit about the planet. They're an eyesore. I did not. For this view, but to be eyesore, a wind turbine. But it makes you think like, ah, uh, like, oh my god, I've forgotten what they're called. This this isn't really going to work as a joke anymore. But can you? Pylons. Oh my god, who was it? Lauren. <laughs> Beautiful. I can't imagine being, being stood up in pylons like, well, that's better than winter. Give <laughs> <laughs> me this any day. Um, I have one last school anecdote for you. Um, and it's about this teacher that, that scared me to my core, called Miss Smith. Generic name. <laughs> but uh, not a generic. <laughs> um, and she had a display called Smith's Stars, <laughs> where whoever had been particularly good that week would get put up <laughs> as one of Smith's Stars. Um, and I can remember one time, uh, this was in sixth form, sitting in one of her lessons and a boy came in uh, and he'd been sent to her because he'd been misbehaving in another lesson and everyone knows that. Miss Smith can discipline you. <laughs> um, just so happened that the boy who was sent in was one of Smith's stars. <laughs> it comes in, the other teacher explains. He's been shouting out in class, just not getting on with the work. And the door closes, the other teacher leaves, and this poor boy is left. In front of all these six of us. He's like, he's like year seven. How humiliating. <laughs> um, and Miss Smith gives him a very hard stare and says, And to think you were one of Smith's darlings. <laughs> She's so like, so, like, she moved in a way that I can't quite do, but it was so <laughs> like, 
Took his star with his face on. Pulled it down! Ripped it up. And ate it. Now this fear of Miss Smith really, really affected me. And there was a homework task that we had to do where we... Uh, it, it was on a sheet and she wanted us to stick the sheet into our book. Um, something that if I hadn't done it, I, I wouldn't normally have cared that I hadn't done it or, you know, so, so I did the task, I did the task, and then I was like, oh, I don't have any, don't have any clue, I'll sort that out tomorrow, get up for school the next day, like, pushing it to the limit, have you got there's any glue, like, look everywhere for some glue in this house. I've got Miss Smith first period, I'm going to get in. I'm pushing the time to the limit. Dad is at the bottom of the stairs, he is ready to go. I've got five minutes and no clue. I stuck my work in with my own car. <laughs> 